also in Canada, in Ottawa, Sabir Mufti. Hi, Sabir. How are Hi. you? I'm good, Eliza and Ace. It's good to see you again. Quick update, what's happening in my area. We've got 85 new cases here in Ontario, with three of those being in Ottawa. So our total here in Ottawa is ramped up to 27. Uh, in the province itself, we have eight deaths. So total uh, confirmed cases in Ontario is 588. Uh, now, our uh, chief medical officer here in Ottawa is still looking at computer modeling uh, that states we could get 4,000 new cases a day when the, when the virus hits its peak here in Ottawa. So again, with the theme of social distancing, actually we're calling it now physical distancing. We're really urging people to stay home, stay safe, avoid any unnecessary travels, as this is what we need to do to, you know, what is it, uh, straighten, level off the curb for the, uh, for the, uh, the virus itself. Um, one interesting thing was my son's sixth birthday today, so we celebrated with our, our family, media family, couldn't have my parents here or, or my sister here, so we had them on Zoom and uh, did a nice chat and and was able to, to see them that way. So those are the measures we have to take in these uh, uncertain times. Um, but it is really important to keep washing your hands, keep two meters distance from uh, people you see outside when you're going to the grocery stores. And as Kathleen mentioned, yes, uh, I was at Costco doing some shopping and they've got lineup, they've got things so well done where you cannot go unless they let you in. And you have to follow their routine because they're very strict. And all Canadians right now are really following that. We, are, we understand the severity of, of this virus and we really want to do our part. So this is uh, Saber Mufti here in Ottawa. We do live in interesting times. Sabir, before you go, is there police presence in Ottawa? Uh, yes, there are police presence. Uh, it's not as much as, uh, as we see it, but I was actually just talking to my parents the other day, and actually today, and yeah, they had about six uh, cruisers around their area um, just making sure that people are not congregating in large groups. Um, so yeah, there is monitoring. And I also heard one uh, report that uh, uh, in Toronto, the, um, the mayor and the um, uh, tele, uh, telecommunication company is monitoring uh, where people's phones are located. And if there's so many located in the same area, then that's where they're going to actually locate, uh, talk to the police or, or coordinate with the police just to stop that. So measures are being taken place here. Uh, using technology to control this. Um, how about um, imposing fines? Uh, nothing too much yet here in Ottawa, but what I do know is that the mayor here and the mayor of Gatineau, which is our uh, neighboring uh, city in Quebec, they're saying, you know, they're restricting cross-province travel for only necessary travel. So any unnecessary travel that's happening, please, we're ask, they're asking uh, residents and the communities to not do that. So. Um, no, no major fines here in Ontario yet, but I'm sure uh, things will happen pretty soon if this continues. Thank you, Sabir. Happy birthday to your son. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday. Have a good day. Take care. Thanks, Sabir.